welcome to the enlightening world of mental health in black and white. In this channel, we delve deep into the intricate terrain of mental health issues, making them as comprehensible as black and white. Today, we're taking on a topic that often baffles and intrigues many, therapy. Therapy can be a peculiar journey. Picture this, you meet a complete stranger and suddenly you're expected to reveal your most innermost thoughts and feelings, things you may have never shared with anyone else before. It's an experience that can evoke nervousness and stress. And amidst this uncertainty, there's often the nagging question, how can you tell if your therapist is any good at their job? They operate under a fundamental principle, confidentiality. What you disclose in those sessions is held under a strict legal code of silence. Your therapist cannot divulge this information to anyone, lest they risk losing their license. This assurance grants you the freedom to be honest and speak your mind. However, there are a few things you should be cautious about sharing with your therapist. Let's explore four such aspects in detail. Number one, lies. Concealing the truth about your situation or emotion can hinder the effectiveness of therapy. It's not uncommon for patients to resort to falsehoods out of fear, apprehension, or concern about judgment. If you ever feel the urge to lie, consider discussing these feelings with your therapist. You need not share everything immediately, but acknowledging these impulses can be instrumental in understanding their origins and overcoming them. Number two, pretending to be better. Pretending that you're doing better than you are can be counterproductive. Your therapist relies on your honesty to tailor the treatment effectively. If you're struggling but masking it, it can lead to wasted time and resources. Remember, therapy is not about judgment or blame, it's about understanding, empathy, and progress. Number three, pretending to be worse. On the flip side, pretending to be worse than you are can also backfire. If your therapist believes you need a higher level of care or different interventions, you may find yourself referred elsewhere. Honest communication about your progress is essential to receive the right support. Number four, faking success. If something isn't working in therapy or you find a suggested approach unsuitable, it's crucial to communicate this to your therapist. Therapy isn't a one size fits all and therapists appreciate feedback. Pretending that a particular strategy is working when it isn't will only hinder your progress. Now let's shift our focus to things you may be hesitant to share with your therapist, but absolutely should. Number one, thoughts of suicide. Although it can be terrifying, it's vital to communicate any thoughts of suicide to your therapist. Understanding your therapist's protocol in such situations is crucial as it can ease your apprehensions. Therapists typically assess the level of risk create safety plans, and establish safety contracts. Knowing these steps can empower you to share honestly without fearing immediate hospitalization. Number two, experiences of abuse. Sharing experiences of abuse can be challenging, but it's essential to inform your therapist about them. Therapists are mandated to report any abuse cases involving minors, dependent adults, or elders. Keeping such secrets can have detrimental effects on mental health and future relationships. Remember, speaking up is a step toward healing and holding those responsible accountable. Therapy is undoubtedly demanding, but it's also profoundly rewarding. It requires courage, vulnerability, and commitment. You are worth the effort, and seeking therapy is a powerful step towards a healthier, happier life. As a token of our appreciation for your willingness to explore therapy and mental health, we invite you to download our free mental health journal. 
It's a tool to help you on your journey of self-discovery and healing. The link is in the comments. Thank you for watching and may you have a week filled with self-care and self-discovery. Bye for now.